A minister's wife decided to buy him a bicycle for his birthday to help him get fit. The minister tried it, but after a few weeks of a regular schedule, he thought it wasn't his cup of tea. One day he was cycling past a recently cut grass lawn and a young guy sitting on the porch. The young guy said, Hello, Pastor. Nice to see you on your bike. The minister stops to catch his breath and says, Thanks, but I don't think I'll be riding much longer. It's not for me. The young guy replied, That's too bad. It's a really good bike. The minister looks at the lawnmower and says, You have a good lawnmower. Looks brand new. The young guy responds, Well, I only used it a few times, but I just found out I have to move to a city for work and I won't have a lawn to cut. Hold on the young guy says. What a swap. I won't need my mower in the city, and you don't want your bike. The minister thinks for a moment and says, done. The next week, the minister tries out his almost new mower. But no matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't start it. He had been pulling the cord with all his might for five minutes when he sees the young guy riding past on the bicycle. He shouts, hey, this mower you gave me doesn't work. Did you swear at it? asks the young guy. What? No way. The pastor exclaimed. The young guy explained. Well, it doesn't start unless you swear at it first. Son, the preacher said, I'm a man of the church. I have to set an example. I don't use bad language, and it's been so long I probably don't remember how. Well, the young guy says as he piddles away, you just keep pulling that cord. It'll come back to you soon enough. A young girl noticed that she had started to grow hair in her private area. She was a bit concerned and went to her mom to talk about the hair she had found. Her mom calmly reassured her. That part where the hair has sprouted is known as your monkey. You should feel proud that your monkey has begun to grow hair. The girl felt relieved and happy. At the dinner table, she decided to share this news with her older sister. Guess what? My monkey has grown hair. Her sister responded with a smile. That's no big deal at all. Mine is already eating bananas. A woman finds herself in the midst of an affair during the daylight hours, while her husband is away at work. Unexpectedly, her nine-year-old son comes home, catches them in the act, and quietly sneaks into the bedroom closet to hide. After a few moments, the woman hears the unmistakable sound of her husband returning home. In a panicked rush, she quickly hides her secret lover in the closet, completely unaware that her son was already hiding in the very same place. In the dark confines of the closet, the little boy whispers, it's really dark in here, isn't it? The man, caught off guard, replies, Yes, it indeed is. The boy, seeking to break the awkward silence, says, I have a baseball. Caught off guard, the man replies, That's nice. Do you want to buy it? No, thank you. My father is right outside. Feeling the pressure, the man relents. Okay, how much do you want for it? $250. In the following weeks, a similar situation arises where the boy and the woman's lover find themselves in the closet once again. The boy breaks the ice with, It's really dark in here. The man concurs, Yes, it indeed is. I have a baseball glove this time. The lover, remembering their previous encounter, preemptively asks the boy, How much do you want for it? $750. Feeling cornered again, the man sighs, All right, fine. A few days pass, and the father excitedly says to the boy, Grab your glove, let's head outside and enjoy a game of catch. The boy looks sheepishly at his father and says, I can't, I sold my baseball and my glove. Taken aback, the father asks, How much did you sell them for? The boy flashes a proud smile. I got $1,000 for them. The father in disbelief says, That's terrible to take advantage of your friends like that. That's far more than those two items are worth. I'm going to take you to church, and you're going to confess your wrongdoings. They arrive at the church, and the father instructs the little boy to sit in the confession booth, and he shuts the door. In the quiet solitude of the booth, the boy says, It sure is dark in here. From the other side of the partition, the priest exclaims in surprise, For heaven's sake, how much this time? A lady decides to put an advertisement in her local newspaper. She is on the hunt for a man with three distinct characteristics. He won't be violent towards her, he won't ever run away from her, and he has to be excellent in the bedroom department. Just two days after her ad hits the papers, she hears her doorbell ring. A man greets her saying, Hello there, my name is Tim. I happen to have no arms, which means I won't ever have the ability to beat you. 
Also, I don't have any legs, so I won't be able to run away from you, the man cheerfully announces. With skepticism in her voice, the woman questions him. And just what makes you so sure that you're great in bed? Tim responds with a grin. Well, I rang the doorbell, didn't I? In a fifth grade science class, the teacher named Mrs. Jones decided to test her students with an interesting question. She asked, which part of the human body grows to 10 times its original size when it is stimulated? No one dared to answer until a young girl named Cindy stood up and voiced her outrage. She exclaimed, you shouldn't be asking us fifth graders a question of that sort. I'm going to inform my parents about this, and they will definitely take it up with the principal, who will then have no choice but to fire you. However, Mrs. Jones chose to ignore her protest and proceeded to ask the same question again. Which part of the human body grows to ten times its size when it is stimulated? Little Cindy's mouth dropped open in shock. Then she murmured to her classmates, Just watch, she is going to be in so much trouble for this. Despite Cindy's remarks, the teacher calmly continued to seek an answer from the class. Does anybody know the answer? Finally, a student named Bobby stood up, his eyes darting around the room nervously. He hesitantly said, The body part that grows to ten times its size when stimulated is the pupil of the eye. Mrs. Jones nodded approvingly and said, Very good, Bobby. She then turned her attention to Cindy and continued, As for you, young lady, I have three things to tell you. She held up a finger and said, Firstly, you seem to have a rather dirty mind for a child of your age. She raised another finger and added, Secondly, you evidently did not read your homework properly. Finally, with a third finger up, she concluded, And thirdly, one day in the future you are going to be very, very disappointed. One sunny day, three guys sadly passed away and found themselves on their way to heaven. Upon arrival, they were greeted by the Secretary of God. She turned to the first man and asked, What is your religion? The man responded, I am Jewish. The secretary nodded and said, All right, you can proceed to room 23, but I must insist that you be extremely quiet when you pass by room 8. She then turned to the second man and asked him the same question, What is your religion? The second man replied, I am a Muslim. The secretary instructed him, Okay, you need to go to room 10. Just like the first man, you also need to be extremely quiet when you walk past room 8. Finally, it was the turn of the third man. The secretary asked him, And what is your religion? The third man shrugged and said, I'm agnostic. The secretary then pointed him towards room 71, but just like the others, she said, Please remember to keep your noise level very low when you go past room 8. Puzzled by the recurring instruction, the third man asked, Could you please explain why I must be so quiet when passing room 8? The secretary gave a slight smile and replied, What well, you see in room 8 we have the Catholics, and they think that they are the only ones in here. <laughs>